Chinese school teacher, Wang Wanbaiyao, I don't know what subject he taught, has turned the world's seventh largest desert into a money-making rabbit farm. So here's what happened. The Kubiki Desert has been expanding for decades. Sandstorms so violent they felt like knives. 70,000 people barely surviving. Wang himself said hunger haunted his childhood. Then in 1988, Wang took a stand and decided to fight back, fight back the desert. And here is his improbable system. First, he planted willow trees. Their roots go as far as 100 meters deep, deep enough to find water and anchor the sand. Then, and this is the crazy part, he released 8 million Rex rabbits, not into the wild, into managed echo farms. He chose Rex rabbits because they eat willow leaves, and here's where it starts to come together. Their manure is packed with nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and they can't digest seeds. So every dropping is basically a fertilized seed bomb expanding the willow forest along with other plants. This was followed by the installation of 650,000 solar panels. The shade that provide help the grass and the rabbits. Local families get paid to clean the panels and runoff water waters the grass below. But that's just the beginning because it's the economics that makes it all work. Rex rabbit fur doesn't have what's called a guard hair, which makes it super soft and a sought after luxury fur. So the rabbit fur is sold as a luxury fashion. The rabbit meat is sold as premium food. Rabbit organs are sold as pharmaceuticals. And on top of that, the rabbit manure fertilizes the soil, which is a cost savings. Solar power produces 1,000 megawatts to the grid. The entire system has generated a $10 billion green economy, and 102,000 people have been lifted from poverty. The water table has risen by two meters, and wild deer, foxes, and bird populations have quadrupled and the desert is no longer expanding. Wang's devious scheme has indeed fought the desert back. One third of the Kubiki Desert is now green. Wang Wanbao won the UN Champion of the Earth Award in 2017. The Kubiki Project is now being replicated across the Belt and Road Initiative. Congratulations, Mr. Wang. Join us at culturalperspective.com for more international economics, culture, and politics.